Hello and welcome. It was Virgin's Richard Branson who said, if you want to be a millionaire, start with a billion dollars and launch a new airline. That implies that you burn money when you buy an airline. Airlines are businesses that need to make profit like any other business. They do have challenges unlike any other business. The COVID pandemic was severe for many airlines. Many airlines filing for bankruptcy as a result. A person invested in such a company would lose their money. Is investing in an airline risky? Well, as an investor, free to choose between investing in any business, where would you put your money? Well, for any company, you might consider current financial forecasts, past performances, debt levels, and even office holders. You would judge the performance of competitors. Does the company you're looking at have a differentiated offering not easily copied by competitors? Maybe you just trust the judgment of others and go for the recommendations of the likes of investment analysts such as Goldman Sachs or Morningstar. Well, my faith in that approach was shaken after watching the film The Big Short in which the rating agency Standard & Poor's rated subprime bonds as investment grade as it suited their bank clients. So, back to the marketplace and competition for your investment dollars. Does size of the company matter? American Airlines has flown 165 million passengers in 2021, generating nearly 30 billion in revenue and holds 20% of the US domestic market. For all of this, it is ranked just 174 on the 2021 Fortune 500 list, in part due to an operating loss of almost 2 billion in 2021. In Europe, Ryanair and Lufthansa both carry nearly 120 million passengers, and Air France, KLM, EasyJet, and Turkish Airlines, something a little less. Dubai state-owned Emirates, the largest Middle Eastern airline, made US $1.2 billion in half of 2023, but has no public ownership. Here in Australia, our flagship airline is Qantas, which is currently paying a 3% dividend yield. In comparison, BHP Mining Company pays 8.5% dividend yield. The appeal of airline ownership is that demand for flights grows exponentially. Not many businesses can claim such rising demand for their product, excepting perhaps Tesla and Apple. If airlines can control costs, especially that of fuel, then profits will flow. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and hit the notify bell for new content.